who are statistically the highest rated players on NFL Rational 25. Ladies and gentlemen, today I wanted to make a quick video regarding the ratings on the game. I feel like nobody has made a video on this yet, so today we're gonna be looking at the top five players at each position on NFL Rational 25. And I also managed to get some clarifications on how this rating system actually works, how Rational rates its players. Some of these ratings are atrocious. Blasphemy, asinine, I mean run amok, led astray. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with these ratings. Let's get straight into it, all right? Let's take a look at the top five quarterbacks on this game. The best quarterback is Patrick Mahomes, all right? I think they got this right. This one's kind of hard to argue against. I mean, he doesn't have five-star potential. I think he should be already a five-star, but I mean, he's the best in the game, so what more can you ask for? And by the way, the way I measured these rankings, all right? I did a little bit of math. For example, this card, the bar for throw accuracy is maxed out. That's 10 out of 10 points. And if you look at his speed bar that's halfway so it's five out of ten points so pretty much it's the total amount of points added by each statistic so for instance Mahomes would have 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 9 which is 34 out of 40 points and that's pretty much how the ratings work I pretty much looked at the highest rated stars and then I added the individual points to separate the guys with the same amount of stars I'm so smart Mahomes is the best quarterback second best is Lamar Jackson I disagree already I'm not on board with this I don't think he's the second best quarterback in the league but he is on NFL Retro Bowl 25 the third best is Dak Prescott this one is absolutely insane I'm sorry like now I'm out of my seat I'm mad I'm like genuinely pissed off how is he the third best quarterback on this game? I don't get it, man. Number four on the list is Josh Allen. I don't get this either. He's got five-star potential, but Mahomes doesn't, even though Mahomes has three rings. I, I don't know. And then tied for fifth, we have uh, Jalen Hurts with four-star rating. Him and Jordan Love are tied for fifth. They have the same amount of points. I'm sorry, man. I don't know how Joe Burrow doesn't get into your top five. I also don't know how Brock Purdy doesn't get into your top five. You know what I mean? I, I, I just don't get it. But those are the five best quarterbacks. Let me know what you would change about that list. Let's move on to the running backs here. This one will definitely create some outrage. I can already see it coming, all right? The best rated running back on this game is Derek Big Ass Henry. You already know I completely disagree, but the second best running back pisses me off even more. The second best running back on this game is Jonathan Taylor. I don't even know what to say. But it doesn't stop there, all right? The third best running back, that's right, I still haven't mentioned him yet, is Brees Hall. Brees Hall! He's already the third best running back on this game! What has he done? Why did I make this video? I, I knew this would piss me off. I already saw the ratings. I already did the calculations. Wh why am I still mad? Because this is actually the worst one, all right? This one actually makes no sense at all. The fourth best running back on this game is Najee Harris. This guy's on my fantasy football team, and I already hate him. He dropped 8.9 points for me in week one. I'm trying to sell high right now. I think that's his ceiling. Like, there's no way this guy is the fourth best running back on the game. And then fifth best, eventually, is Christian McCaffrey, all right? But guess who didn't crack the list? Saquon Barkley, not on. Four and a half star. Just insane. Alvin Kamara's a three and a half star. What are we doing? Jalen Warren's four and a half star. You're telling me Jalen Warren's better than Alvin Kamara. Okay, let's just move on, man. Wide receiver, this is gonna piss me off, too. I already made a video on him, all right, but the best rated wide receiver on NFL Retro Bowl 25 is none other than C.D. Lamb, four and a half star right here. He actually dropped, all right? He used to be a five star, but now he's a four and a half. Second best wide receiver is Tyreek Hill. That's pretty fair, I feel like. Third best receiver right here is none other than St. Brown. Amon Ra St. Brown is number three. Jamar Chase comes in at number four. He's the fourth best. And number five is Cooper Cup. All right, four and a half star. Now these ratings aren't that bad until you consider the fact that Justin Jefferson is four star. How is he not in the top five, man? AJ Brown, four star. He's got an argument to be a four and a half star. Brandon Ayuk, honestly, after that first game, he's probably a four star. He's probably a two star. What the hell was that? Devontae Adams, four star, has an argument there too. To be four and a half star, Garrett Wilson's three and a half star. I think those are some pretty crappy ratings. All right, let's move on to the tight end spot. The best tight end on this game is Dallas Goddard. This is so random. Five star tight end. He's the only five star tight end on this game. Second best tight end is Travis Kelsey, four and a half star player. This next one's random. Third best is Jonu Smith. Somehow he's just better than George Kittle, who comes in at number four. And then at number five is David and Joe. Four and a half star tight end right there. He's got five star potential. It's not the worst list. Maybe I'd have TJ Hawkinson in there. I, I think they have the players right. I just don't think it's the right order. How is Dallas Goddard better than Travis Kelce and George Kittle? Come on. Top five offensive linemen on this game. Number one is Will Hernandez. Five star player right there. Number two is another Arizona Cardinal. Hajalte 
Froholt. Cardinals fans, y'all let me know if these two are the best O-linemen in the game. I certainly don't think so. Colton McKivitt's three and a half star. Absolutely insane. He should be half star. Anyways, number three is Salier. Jamari Salier, four and a half star player. Coming in at number four is Jenkins. All right, Tevin Jenkins. Number five is Tyler Smith from the Cowboys. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about the O-linemen other than please downgrade Colton McKivitt's, please. The best D-lineman in this game is Max Crosby. Four and a half star player. Got five star potential. I absolutely disagree with that. You know who I think is better than him. We'll get into that later. All right, second best. Best D lineman is Aiden Hutchinson. Third best on this list is actually Kenny Clark for the Green Bay Packers. Again, he's a great player, but he's just not better than Nick Bosa. Number four on this list is Leonard Williams. Now you're really pissing me off. Okay, like I know he's a good player, but he's, he's, he's there's no nobody thinks he's better than Bosa. Nobody comes in at number five, man. He's number five. Five. Actually insane, man. He should be number one. I'm sorry. Now this next position, linebacker. I actually, I kind of want to stop recording right now. I'm like scared to tell you guys these ratings. Because these, this is the worst one. I, I know you guys might think the first couple are, you know, bad or whatever. No, no, no. This is absolutely the worst one. Matter of fact, this one is so bad, I emailed the devs. I emailed Chris about this one. Because I'm about to show you guys why. All right, the best linebacker on this game is Bobby Wagner. What the hell? Is this NFL 15? Is he back on Seattle? Is there a time travel machine? What, what the hell is happening? Why in the hell is he the best linebacker in the game? But that doesn't stop there, all right? The second best linebacker on this game is Jermaine Pratt. Jermaine Pratt. He's the second best linebacker on the game. Third best linebacker on the game, Demario Davis. Demario Davis. Fourth best linebacker on this game is Logan Wilson. Is there two names that I haven't mentioned yet that you guys are already typing in the comments down below? Do you notice what's happening? Because I'm about to say the fifth name, and it's really going to piss me off. Because it's not Fred Warner, it's Quay Walker at number five. This game made five linebackers better than Fred Warner. Better than Roquan Smith. Five. I, I don't know what to do. I, I like Actually, I have no clue why they did this. This guy's been the best linebacker in the NFL in this decade. I literally stated this in my email. He is the Patrick Mahomes of defense, of linebackers. He needs to be the best linebacker in the game. I'm sorry. This this, I, this is unacceptable. That's a non-negotiable for me. I, I'm just, I'm sorry. That, that's just wrong. Drake Greenlaw, four-star wrong four and a half and last but not least we have a defensive back best defensive back on this game is kyle duggar at five star second best is jaquan brisker at five star from the chicago bears third best is brandon stevens out of the uh baltimore ravens right here four and a half star player he's got five star potential fourth best is jabril peppers from the new england patriots four and a half star player with five star potential as well and then the fifth best player is brian branch all right he is in a three-way tie with Mika fitzpatrick four and a half star i think he's the best safety in the game and also Demo Lenoir my boy Demo I'm happy about this one they got this one right they recognize that boy Demo is cold just strapped up Gary Wilson by the way they kind of missed on Sauce Gardner I'm not gonna lie Sauce Gardner three and a half star is kind of crazy Jalen Ramsey four star uh, I don't really know Tyreek Stevenson four star uh, I don't really know Teron Johnson only a four star uh, I don't really know you know what I mean I, I don't know y'all let me know in the comments Draymond Diggs three and a half star I mean I think he should be a four star at least just for the picks I don't think he's a four and a half star but like three and a half is kind of disrespectful I ain't gonna lie and then last but not least we have kicker top five kickers on this game Justin Tucker is number one four and a half star I agree with this First time I've agreed with them all video. Matt Prater is number two with four star. Hopkins is number three, Dustin Hopkins. Nick Folk at number four from the Tennessee Titans. And at number five is Cairo Santos from the Chicago Bears. No Young Lake who? All right, Young Lake who's a three star. So those are the ratings for NFL Retro 25. Now the explanation for these ratings is that no, there are no randomness included in these ratings apparently. So this is actually someone's doing. This is somebody's opinion. The ratings are basically serious, all right? Apparently there's some sort of math and logic behind them. I don't see it yet. I might ask for the formula, all right? Try to solve the formula like I'm back in Kumon or something. But also the explanation is that it's a very small team working on this game, so they don't have enough people to actually just watch football, watch everybody. And they also don't want to copy their ratings from other games like Madden or anything like that. You know what I mean? Because that would be also kind of boring. So from that perspective, I kind of get it. But like Fred Warner not being in the top five is really crazy. But I made this video to generate conversation for you guys so that you guys can let the devs know what you guys think of the ratings yourself by leaving a comment in the comment section down below because they're still listening. They're still adding more players onto the game and they're still adjusting these ratings as we go. So this video's ratings could be outdated by the time somebody else watches this video down the line, all right? But I wanted to make this video just to generate that conversation for you guys and also be very informative on the top rated players on this game, all right?
Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are new, I will be giving away a million dollars to every person who clicks the subscribe button. So um, if you subscribe, you're pretty much Jeff Bezos.